Hi guys, Black here. Hey, I feel just a little bit stupid because I did something. I followed somebody else and it sort of kind of messed me up, but I'm going to make something good out of it. Okay, you've seen the video where my F-150 messed up on the way home. It kept saying it was running hot, even though I knew it was running hot. Okay, I was getting a code a P1299. So of course I went on YouTube and there was a guy who had, I think he had a 1299 and he had some other kind of code, okay? He was talking about you have to take the intake off and replace the cooling temperature sensor. Okay, I did that, it did not help. Also, after doing that, I had a massive fuel leak, okay? So I took it all apart again, and I heard something about that there's a there may be a wiring problem. You may want to change the the wiring harness that goes from the cooling temperature cooling sensor to the plug behind the intake. Well, that wire is also made with the knock sensors, and you have to replace the whole assembly. All right, now believe it or not, it's only about well. One place it was 28 bucks. I went to another forward place, it ended up being $48, but you know, whatever. I tried that, put everything back together. It was still saying the engine ran hot and I still had a fuel leak. It wasn't quite as bad as the first one, but it was still a fuel leak. I mean, you smell gas, you smell gas, okay? So at this point, because I wasn't able to fix the truck, I'm thinking about taking it back to Ford, but I'm like, no, I've already started messing with the truck. I've, you know, changed some stuff around where if I take it back to Ford, they're probably going to try to make me replace the whole wiring harness, even though there's nothing wrong with the wiring harness, but that's probably what they're going to try to do. They may not, but that's what they probably want to do, replace the whole wiring harness, and I wasn't going to do that. So I decided, you know what? I got this for, I'm just gonna keep messing with it. Okay, I got this set from AutoZone. It costs like $96. And you're gonna need two of them because you only come, it only has enough to fix four cylinders. You have to buy a second pack to get two more. Don't ask me why I don't come with six of these. Well, anyway, I'm gonna show you something. Now, this, is a flat washer. How do you know it's kind of square? Okay, this is a flat washer. All right. This one is, I don't know why, some of them are torn. I was getting to think that they came that way. Now this one, this one is not torn. I don't get it. This one is not torn. Um, like one or two that come off of my Ford were torn. And like one or two wasn't torn. I haven't really counted, but I knew at least two of them was cut. Okay, this is O-ring. All of these were okay on my truck. I didn't see any problem with them. And all of these was okay. Now, this is another O-ring. No, this is a lot smaller. Well, on my truck, okay, if you can see this, on my truck, this is a lot flatter. I mean, it's a lot flatter. And I'm wondering, is it because this come from AutoZone that is made different? Or is this a, I don't know. All I know is some of mine's a cut and I'm wondering that, okay, it also comes with, I am clumsy as hell. It also comes with these things. Okay, these go on top of the injectors and exactly what they use for, I'm not exactly sure, but they go on the injectors. And it comes with new bolts. 
Why does it come with new bolts? I can't even tell you. But I'm hoping that if I install this kit onto my truck, it'll stop that massive fuel leak. I hope so, because I bought two of them. Bought two of these for almost 200 bucks, probably 200 bucks with tax. So if this work, I'll let you guys know. I hope it will. And if not, will I take it to the forward place? Probably not. Probably not. At least I figured out the damn sensor. I'm glad I figured that out. Did I tell you? Well, I, I said in another video what the problem was. Uh, I changed the wrong sensor. But, you know. Anywho, this is Dre. I just thought I'd make a video. Let y'all know the kind of screw up I made. Y'all have a good day.